Hi, Sergio. Hey, Bob. How's it going? It's going well. I see you got a box here. We do. We have another box to unbox. Okay. <laughs> and I, oh, I see that it's the Godox SZ200 by. Yes. That oh. is uh, one of the cameras I think we talked about in one of the previous episodes. Cameras? Cameras, lighting. Yes, My apologies. It's yes, okay. it's a light. I know. Uh, <laughs> I know you know. Do you? <laughs> yeah, I do. So, new light. Okay. Well, so how, how does let, the box feel? Ooh, this one, you yeah. know, this one's heavier than the uh, the 150. Well, it costs more. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's all it's all that money being spent in there. I mean, no, it's uh, definitely heavier. Oh yeah. I also want to say like maybe twice as heavy as the no. one. No, not twice as heavy. Yeah, a few pounds. Uh, maybe a couple pounds. Yeah. So, so, yeah, so this is some new gear that LPM just bought for members, for studio, uh, for people to rent out and use uh, whenever they want. So, mm -hmm. let's, yeah, let's All see right. what's in there. All right, cool. Maybe Godox will give us some batteries. I don't think this takes Ooh, batteries. Look at, oh, this is so this So this one has not been unboxed oh, at all. Oh, look at, look at that. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. So you got... We've got I've some a catalog, uh, okay. lighting solutions. Oh, okay. uh, QCP pass card. Oh, there we go. No, I'm glad good. it passed. I'm glad it passed. Uh, oh, warranty card. Okay. Mm -hmm. How long is the warranty? Well, we can look later. Yeah, we can look later. And uh, user's guide. There, so there is you go. Is it in English and Chinese? Yes, I'm sure. It's only in Chinese. It's only in Chinese? Oh, no, it's... It's Chinese first, then English. Ah, okay. So there we go. So that looks pretty nice, huh? Pretty tight. Yeah. Oh, so. wow. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. It's like a bird. You Look know? at that. Yeah, check it out. So. Oh. So there, what do we have there? Oh, oh, oh. This is cool. That's your DMX. Oh, so they give you a DMX. Yes. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's good to know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so there's one piece of foam. All right, so yeah. then we have another extension. Is this, this the only is, one? Okay. No, no, no. Uh, this is, you, this a, is if you go DMX. Gotcha, gotcha. You, you plug that into, into the, the camera. Yeah, oh, gotcha, into the camera. Yeah. yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. I don't know. <laughs> All right. uh, nice cord. My God. I think this is longer than the ones that they included in the 150 series. So here's the reflector. Yeah, right? same old, same, same old. reflector as the 150, it seems mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. um, and also has support for the, what was it? That's a Bowen's S mount. Bowen's S mount. Yeah. Yep, so. All the Godox fixtures, I think, are S mount, okay. Bowen S mount. They do also give us a little bit of cable. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is uh, a secure line. There. So if you're going to hang this thing on a grid, this just gives you extra added protection. You, you just kind of screw it together like that. So here's how the SZ200 by comes packaged. We'll take that off. That's definitely a, a more weighty. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bigger light source. Yeah. I mean, Wilder. it's wider. Yeah, it is. Wow, Holy. It really is. Okay, you know how to take it off? I do so because I learned this from yeah, from you the other from the other unboxing. Right, yeah. So there's a little latch here. You just kind of pull back and then you twist and then there you go. Oh. And they actually left some uh, styrofoam in there to probably protect the light, LED light. Yeah, that's good packaging. Yeah. By far. So you want to put this back on? Well, for now. Uh, you know, let's put the reflector. On. Sure. All right. All right. So put the reflector on. You know what we should do? We should plug this thing in. We should. Just crank it up. There we go. Because we've got a lot of wattage here. Sure. 200 watts LED. I mean, I don't know what that would translate to a traditional uh, so, tungsten. Yeah. So on the back, you've got the DIM, uh, CCT, FN, menu, mm. FX, DMX, a fan, a USB stick, a port, uh, DC 33 volt for DMX, mm. and then the power switch. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys can see that, but so. It'd be interesting to see what's in the menu when we power this baby up. Yeah. Well, what, do you know what's in the menu? I don't know. Huh. I'm, I'm sure they have several entrees, a few a la carte offerings. <laughs> <laughs> I 
So we uh, we prepared this time, and we have an extension cable all ready long. to go. Oh, that way oh, we can uh, we can just get this thing plugged in. So it does not plug in here. It needs to go. It's only oh, via DMX. Whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah, you should still be able to power it. Yeah, through the menu. It's powered I mean, via DMX. Right. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. Okay, See that in the literature when we ordered it. <laughs> and these things, all right. These things are probably to hold the DMX or to attach the box, probably to the fixture with these yeah. things. Like, all right. So yeah. So you got to connect it in this setup. You got to connect it to the power supply, which then connects into DMX. And then we're gonna plug this into our handy dandy. Extension cable over here that we've already prepped. Yep. And let's turn the sucker on. Oh, hey, it works. Whoa. It's quiet. That's really quiet. Very quiet. So there's actually like a, a colored screen in the back. Oh, wow, look at that. It's probably, so, you know, like I think uh, I might blind you if I, oh, oh shit. Oh. Check that out. That's pretty neat. So you can adjust color temp. Oh wow! Check that out. So it goes from you know like daylight, twenty eight hundred wow. candlelight, pretty close to candlelight. Let's crank it up. Ooh. Wow! We'll light up the buildings across the street through the window. Wow! That's that's so that's a hundred percent at twenty eight hundred K. So about 5600 all right uh, wowza <laughs> this thing bright. is bright yeah and that's only 5600k so you can twist the yeah i think it goes up to 6800 that's yeah 6500 6500 yeah, yeah yeah and it has a fan so if you turn the fan off it automatically dims at 35% Oh, it goes down to 35. Yeah. Ah. And that's at 6,500K. Okay. Yeah. Now, I'll, so, bet, I'll bet you if you put it like at 5,600K, the fan might, when you turn the fan off, it might go to 50%. Just a theory. No, it just, it always goes back to, oh, to one third. To 35%. Ah, interesting. Uh, these have good CRI ratings. And, um, huh. yeah, I've done some color checking with uh, some other Godox fixtures in. They're good. Yeah, so that's 2,800, yeah. wow. Wow. I think it's really, wow. Is it getting? Yeah, it oh, gets I can brighter. I can feel a little heat. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Huh. All right. So. So what's, should we play with what's in the menu? Oh, yeah, yeah, We'll yeah. try not to blast the camera. Maybe we'll, yeah, we'll turn menu. down the. Oh, OK. Oh. So menu, you can assign an ID to the light. Uh, a grouping, and a channel. Hmm. And then you've got a USB capability, which yeah. I, w oh, special effects. Oh. So what's, the, okay, so they got. That's strobe. This is a strobe, okay, this should be lightning. All right. Uh, it's a light bulb. <laughs> I don't know what that is. And here's a TV. Let's see how the TV effect. There's also a zooming knob. Did you know that? Yes, that's nice. So you can really, uh, yeah, oh yeah, I forgot about that. So you can really focus the beam. I just, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just bumping into things here. Okay, let's, uh, oh, ah, no. SOS. Ah! ah! But the TV isn't, oh, there it is. I guess it's, oh yeah, it's TV. It's, it must be on a talking head show. What's this? Fire. Fireworks? Yeah, okay. Hmm. So SOS. the... Um... All right, so menu. Yeah, so the, the zooming knob says it can go the beam angle from 20 degrees to 65 degrees. And that USB port is actually, in, in the manual, it's only meant for upgrades. So that's how you upgrade oh, the okay. firmware oh, to okay. the Godox. Wow, okay. Um, which I guess you can download um, from their website. Um, the, uh, the other thing it also says, it supports Bluetooth control. So they, apparently Godox makes an app 
that uh, then you can control with your phone? Check that out. Oh, wow. That's nice. And, you know, it's not real hot in the middle. Not too bad. I don't think I'd use this modifier. You probably want to use... I wonder what it would look like with uh, zooming without the modifier. Let's find out. Oh, man. So... Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh. Huh. Uh-huh. So you can really see how it... There's probably a better fixture to use that. to get the full uh, use. Oh, that's probably why it's... So that it can allow it to extend. Yeah, maybe. That that's makes my sense. guess. Yeah, right? that makes sense. I mean, see, so you can really... Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it's got those little uh, tabs to keep it from going all the way up and hitting yeah. it. Yeah. That's a nice light. Wow. I'd give it a uh, high rating. Yeah. Because I've used their... Uh, version that is not by dial. Gotcha. Yeah. These are, I, I like these lights. Yeah. I mean, for these the are money, awesome. They're great. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for watching yeah. and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Yeah. Come on over and check this stuff out. Yes, please do. Come in, use it, play with it, rent it out. And uh, we look forward to see what you create with it. All right. See you. See ya.